everyone, the M5 MacBook Pro has officially came out. So let me go and show you exactly how to use this beautiful MacBook. Now luckily for you, it's a very easy type of machine to use. There's not anything super crazy to see. However, there are some best practices, some things to kind of know about before you actually start using it. Now, on the outside, the Apple logo is basically at the top of the laptop. If it's pointing, if it looks like it's the right side to you, like it's like this, that basically means it's pointing away from you. Wherever this stem of the Apple is, that means that's the way that it should be pointing towards you. Now, on the bottom portion of your MacBook right here, you don't really have too much. On the right side, you do actually have a couple of ports. As you can see, you have a MagSafe, you have your uh, HDMI port on the right side of this particular MacBook. You have a Thunderbolt port and you have an SD card slot. So it's amazing that we have this type of you know, I.O. It's probably one of my favorite laptops now that they changed it, which is amazing. On the other side, this is where you have an additional two USB Type-C ports. These are Thunderbolt ports as well. You have your MagSafe charger and you have a headphone jack there as well. So that right there is another really cool thing that you basically have the option of kind of seeing here too. On the front side, you basically just have this latch. This is how you go through and open up your Mac. So when you're opening up your Mac, you can open it up by this way, just by holding down this particular part here and basically lifting it open. Now, if you want to lift it open, you can basically just lift it open like this, and you will have your standard keyboard at the bottom. Now, the bottom of our MacBook, as you can see, you basically have this trackpad, which is right here. This trackpad is a multi-touch trackpad. It allows us to maneuver around our Mac, you know, operating system and everything like that. And you also have your keyboard. Now the keyboard itself is really nice to have here as well. So it's a standard full-size keyboard. It's a very, very nice keyboard. You also have a touch ID sensor, fingerprint sensor in the top right with your power button. So you have that there as well, which is really cool. You have your speakers on the sides right here. So you can go through have these speakers right here, which is really awesome as well. And that's another really cool thing that you have. Then you have the display. So the display itself is very, very nice. It comes out in two different sizes. You either get the smaller size or the bigger size. And these are very nice displays when it comes down to it. Like if I'm about to go through and pick up a display, this thing is very solid. You can see right here, you have the notch up top. So you, stand, you have the standard big size display you have the notch up top with the fingerprint, with not the fingerprint, with the camera in the front, and then you have Mac OS. Now you can use your trackpad as always to move around Mac OS. I've already gone through the initial setup. If you haven't gone through the initial setup yet, I'd recommend going through setting that up and then coming back to watch this video. Now on the top portion of Mac OS of our M5 MacBook Pro, we have this status bar kind of thing. So this status bar allows us to have some high level information on our particular Mac. So we can have things like our, you know, uh, information here, like sleep, restart, shutdown. We have these other toggles right here that allow us to go through and kind of figure these things out too. So that right there is another really nice thing that we can kind of do there as well. And then we also have these other toggles in the top right corner as well. So if you want to, you can see your date and your time, your battery and all these other Wi-Fi. You have all these other types of options up there as well in the top right corner, which again is another really nice thing to have. Then you have your home screen. So this is your home screen. This is where you have basically a lot of different type of information. You have, you know, all sorts of other things that you can kind of see here too, which is really nice. And, you know, if you have different applications or different files or widgets or anything like that, you'll basically have all that information right here, which is actually really, really nice. And then at the bottom, you can see you have your dock. So you have your dock at the bottom, you have your Finder app, you have your Safari, App Store, all these system settings. You have all these different types of things at the bottom right here, which is another really nice thing. These are interchangeable. If you right click on your trackpad, you can go through and see, or if you double click like this, you can remove things from the dock, you can add things to the dock. It's a really nice you know, thing that you can basically do. So you can click on options right here, you can click on remove from dock, and that's basically one thing you can do. Now, on top of that, some of these applications are pretty self-explanatory. So you can go through and, you know, the Safari browser is the internet browser, messages, you know, photos, all these other things. If you actually look on your, uh, you know, trackpad, if you go like this on your trackpad, so just like this, you'll basically be able to come into your app library. So not this, but if you go like this, you'll be able to go into your app library. This will have 
uh, this one will house all the applications that you currently have inside of your M5 MacBook Pro. So if you're ever trying to find a particular application or you're trying to find anything in the future, all those particular things will be housed right here inside of your you know, application drawer. So you can kind of go right here, see all the information that you have. And that right there is another very important thing that you can kind of do there as well. And that's another really important thing I'd recommend kind of thinking about. So go right into here, you know, see that information, adjust it, do what you got to do. And that's another very important thing I'd recommend doing here as well. Now, getting into an application is pretty basic too. If you want to open up an app, you can just tap onto the application on the trackpad and you'll basically come into that particular web browser or that application. Now, in this case, you can see I have this application right here. If I want to, I can always minimize an application by clicking on the yellow button in the top left corner, this little yellow button right here. I can tap on that and it will go ahead and minimize the application. If I tap on it again, it will go ahead and open up that application. If I click on the green button, it will expand it full screen so I can expand it. If I want to get out of it, I can click on it again and basically be or unexpand it. If I hover over that green option right here, you'll see you'll have a couple of different things you can do here. You can you know, snap it to the side, you can snap it to the right side, up and down. You can make it full screen. There's a lot of things you can kind of do here as well, which is another really awesome thing. Now, on top of that, if you want to, if you look at the status bar again, these are contingent on the application that you're in. So if you look at the status bar, it will show you a bunch of different little things here. And like I said before, you can go through and modify and change these things based on the application that you're in. If we go and open up the Apple TV application, for example, you'll see this welcome to TV thing. Well, now look at it. If you look at the status bar at the top, this is changed now to basically, you know, keep in mind for Apple TV. In fact, even the first button next to the Apple logo tells us a TV. So it changes per application. That's another really important thing. If you want to close out of an application again, click on the X. If you want to minimize, click on the yellow. Another really, really important thing is basically the settings application. So if you want to make your way over to the system settings of your you know, MacBook, you can either tap onto the system settings application that's here, or you can tap on the Apple logo that's in the top left corner and then click on system settings. So you can tap on system settings and then you'll basically come into this particular page right here. So now what you can do is you can go through and you can see all these other options here. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth network, battery, your general settings, which are right here, accessibility, appearance, menu bar, all these other types of options that kind of show up and show out right here. You have all these different things that kind of show up. So if you ever want to, you can go through here and you can kind of modify your settings. You can kind of adjust your settings as, the, as you kind of see fit. Your notifications, your sound, all these things are really, really important things. Now, if you want to, what I'd recommend every single person to do is to tap onto this general option, which is right over here. And what I'd recommend doing is clicking and tapping onto the software update panel option, which is right over here. What's going to happen is you're going to be able to see this check for update button, tap on check for update. And then what's going to happen is you're going to be able to see an update that will basically pop up. Hopefully if there's an update, I would recommend every single person to go through install and update that particular application. Just go through, update it, install it. That's one of the most important things I'd recommend doing. So go through right over here, you know, check for update, see if there's an update available. If there is, you can install, you can update that particular application. And that right there, I think is another really important thing I'd recommend kind of thinking about, because then what you can do is you can just update it, you know, install that update, go from there. And that's another really important thing I'd recommend doing. So in terms of that, that is basically how you use your M5 MacBook Pro for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.